Hey, it's Bex. So I'm really sorry that I didn't do a video last week. I was just really busy with uni and everything, so I didn't have time. I just really want to say a really big thank you to Kate, who is my brother's girlfriend. She got me a mug for my birthday, which is this one, which has my hashtag and says I love chemistry. It's kind of nerdy, but I love it. So today's video is going to be about confidence again, and this time I'm going to talk about looking past your flaws and looking at the positives instead. I think it's quite normal for people to focus on their flaws and forget that you do have positives. And so I'm going to just talk today about how you can stop focusing on the flaws and this will help you to gain more confidence. So I'm going to be honest and there's loads of things that I don't like about myself and I do sometimes focus on those things and I forget that there's so many other things that are good about me. So some of the things that I don't like are I'm really really short. I'm not actually that sure how tall I am but it's not very tall. It does make me feel a little unconfident I guess because I feel like because I'm short people don't take me seriously. I've just turned 22 but I feel like people th still think I'm about 16 and I think part of that is because of my height but also probably the way I dress because I don't dress up at all. The thing that I forget is that me being short, it's actually not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of people like petite people and I don't ever have to worry about looking too tall or I prefer guys that are taller than me. It's very difficult for me to be able to find a guy that's shorter. So pretty much all the guys out there are going to be taller than me. So I don't have to worry about height. Another thing I don't like about myself is I've always kind of had an issue with broad shoulders, I guess. That's one of the first things that I look at when I'm trying on clothes, is I look at how my, my shoulders and my arms look. It's silly because it's not that obvious. I don't think anyone else focuses on my shoulders, except for me. The final flaw that I'm going to talk about, because if I go through my whole list of flaws, which is, I've got quite a long list, we're going to be here forever. You're going to be watching this video for the next few weeks. So my final flaw is that I'm quite sensitive. I get upset easily. I don't cry easily. I do cry in movies. If someone says something to me, it will stick in my mind for ages and I will feel it. Or if someone is, else is upset, then I will get upset for them. I feel empathy for other people quite easily and it helps me to connect with other people as well. And I, I'd like to think that it makes me quite a good listener. I don't know, my friends might might say otherwise but I think I am. So I've been rambling on for a while I just want to say that it's really important that instead of focusing on all the negatives we need to be looking at the positives and only then can you really gain confidence about yourself. You need to accept yourself for who you are but also realise that whilst everyone has negatives you also have positives and you need to think about all the good things about yourself so that you can start to like yourself more and then you can get more confidence. So let me know what are the best things about you and if there is anything that you don't like about yourself. If there isn't, then that's awesome. Also, let me know what else I should do a video on and I'll see you next time.